We spent a lot of time over the last half year um, Skyping and talking through email and sending songs back and forth. And that, I mean, to the point where we, we actually had done a lot of that pre-production work you know, before you came over here, which is massively important when someone's in another country. You know, you're, you don't want to just someone to show up and be like, hey, I'm Dean and we're recording. So uh, we felt really comfortable with each other before he actually got here, which is really cool. On my previous records, I've kind of had the role of producer um, or co-producer with, with, with the, whoever's been engineering the records. And with this one, I really wanted to you know, give myself over to Nielsen's ideas. We know that we were all we had Virginia Street and Bliss Sitting by the fireplace Listening to Chris Times were hard But life was sweet You and me on Virginia Street The great thing about Nielsen is he comes from that pop background that I have as well and you know everything has that feel where it's, you know, we're not trying to make something too rootsy. Um, it's not, I've not come to Nashville to make a, like a country record. Um, this is really much, you know, very much a pop record with uh, maybe a wee bit of twang here and there. Well, Dean, Dean and I spent a good amount of time over the last year as well talking about the vibe of the record and what we wanted, what he wanted. You know, we talked a lot about um, just that feel of, of a record that's, you know, that feels very spontaneous and in the moment of a, a, a live sounding record. And Dean has an unbelievable voice, like amazing pitch, great delivery phrasing. And so he has that ability where you can sit him, you know, in a, amongst a band and he can pull it off, like where you can do a couple of takes and it's that's the take, you know, which that's that's a very rare thing. Among the ashes in the fire. Uh, one of the great things about the cutting of this record as well is that we, we, we did it all live. Um, you know, all my vocals were sang at the time with the band. There was no overdubs. And I think that's, that's, that's really made it more special for me. I, I mean, I did do most of my vocals live on pre, you know, previous records, but there's always been some patching up and stuff in the overdub. And this time I've really gone for performance rather than perfection. I think uh, it's really important to capture the emotion with with the band when you're playing, all playing together. And it's, I think it's really hard to beat that. Virginia Street, Virginia. 